Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Want to bring you up to date here as to what we're seeing outside right here right now. Current time, by the way, is 237 this afternoon, and uh, we do have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings to tell you about. We're going to start by telling you about one that's in effect until 315. It's the one right behind me. Uh, it is in effect for the city of Buena Vista, for southwestern Rockbridge County, northeastern Bedford County, east central Botetourt County, and Amherst County. Again, this severe thunderstorm warning right here in effect until 315. 60 mile per hour gusts and quarter size hail are the two main threats. We also have another severe thunderstorm warning. This one in effect for about the next 22 minutes or so for southern parts of Nelson County. Let me give you the verbatim from the National Weather Service on this one. Uh, a severe thunderstorm was located near Glasgow or near Clifford moving east at 35 miles per hour. Same threats as what we were dealing with with the other severe thunderstorm warning 60 mile per hour gusts and quarter size hail. Now as far as uh, locations impacted with this storm in Nelson County, it appears as though Arrington, Norwood, Five Forks, Allen's Creek, Gladstone and Buffalo Springs are the ones impacted uh, by this cell that is uh, on the northern end of our viewing area. As we go back down into this severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 315. I want to make sure we talk about the movement of this one. This one right now uh, is moving uh, to the southeast at about 25 to 35 miles per hour. You'll notice that there is indeed a hail core in this cell and it is located <laughs> almost in between these two warnings. Um, it is located uh, pretty close to the Amherst and Nelson County line as we do some street level mapping alongside you. Uh, areas in around Quail Run, South Powell's Island Road, Phoenix Road, Ty River Road. Uh, this is a uh, hail core likely uh, seeing hail larger than quarters where you're seeing this purple color right here. Again, this is right along the Amherst and Nelson County line. Uh, again, a pretty nasty cell, no doubt, uh, out across portions of Amherst and Nelson counties as we speak. So that is the main hail core with the severe thunderstorm warnings that you see uh, in our viewing area. But there are more locations involved in the severe thunderstorm warning. It does include Amherst. It does include areas, say, near Lowesville Road, Highway 60, Buffalo Springs Turnpike, Highway 130, Highway 501. You'll notice areas a little bit further down to the south and also uh, to the west. We're seeing uh, some pretty nasty weather near Gunstock Creek Road, also into areas near Penns Mill Road and Camden Road. Again, you are looking right now at portions of Bedford County. Okay, this is Bedford County, pretty close to the Bedford and Amherst County line. Again, this is a severe thunderstorm warning in effect uh, for about the next oh, 35 minutes or so uh, for portions of Amherst, Bedford, Botetourt, and Rockbridge counties. Now, I want to put a little bit of a storm track on this. It looks like right now, at least, the majority of this rain is going to stay to the north of the city of Lynchburg. However, the southern tip of this may be clipping Lynchburg within about the next roughly, oh, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 8 to 15 minutes or so, uh, anywhere between about 246 and 253 areas, especially northern parts of the city of Lynchburg. I uh, will start to get in on some rain already, perhaps starting to see some rain very close to places like Madison Heights. Uh, but it does look as though again as a cell pushes to the east southeast areas in around Lynchburg will be involved with some heavier downpours uh, within about the next eight to 15 minutes. But you need to know also uh, that the worst of the weather is likely going to stay north of you folks in and around Lynchburg. So as we uh, take off this storm track and uh, zoom out a little bit more, I do want to show you that uh, we are looking at uh, this cell uh, that is uh, north of Roanoke impacting portions of Bedford County, portions of Bedford and uh, Botetourt counties. This is not severe warned right now. You'll notice that the orange line is to the north and to the east of where I'm zooming into right now. Uh, areas in around Blue Ridge, Daleville, seeing some pretty heavy rain right along Highway 220, Interstate 81, also into areas uh, very close to, if not right over Blue Ridge. So areas right now along the Blue Ridge Parkway, I-81 and Highway 11, seeing some pretty heavy rain right along again, uh, the Bedford and Botetourt County line. So that is one cell that we're watching, not warned on. This of course is, these up here are the cells that are warned on right now. And those extend again from very close to Lynchburg, 
up north and east into portions of Amherst and Nelson counties where we continue to have this uh, pretty noticeable hail core uh, right along the Amherst and Nelson County line. It appears to be now more Nelson County than in, in Amherst County. Areas near Variety Mills Road, Norwood Road, areas just north of Piedmont Road uh, seeing a, a pretty, uh, pretty big hail core. This again just to the north and also to the east of Amherst and just to the east of Highway 29. Again, severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Nelson County. Uh, two actual warnings for Nelson County, one in effect until 3 and another one in effect until 315. No tornado warnings with this. This is all just severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, but these cells are again pretty nasty uh, closer to the Lynchburg zone. All right, as we go a little bit further down to the south, don't want to ignore what's going on uh, in Martinsville. Martinsville right now uh, seeing some pretty heavy duty rain uh, north of the Martinsville Speedway. Uh, but including the city of Martinsville, nevertheless, areas right along Highway 108, Highway 57, seeing some pretty nasty weather right now as we do some street level mapping alongside you. Areas in and around Laurel Park, uh, Chatham Heights Road, Clearview Drive, Old Chatham Road, areas near Green Hill Drive, uh, seeing some very, very heavy rain. And yes, there's a little bit of a hail core with this too. Again, anytime you see this purple color on the uh, on these radar shots, that is an indicator of a of uh, perhaps some P to uh, maybe half inch size hail. Um, maybe slightly larger hail than that. Uh, again, this is not warned on in Henry County as of yet, uh, but probably P to perhaps half inch size hail uh, just to the north and also to the east of Martinsville. So we've got this cell also in Henry County that we're watching kind of in between Martinsville and Leatherwood that is uh, producing some very heavy rain again along Highway 57, also along Highway 58. Again, we told you some roads earlier, Stockton Road uh, areas near uh, I guess that's Woodlawn Avenue uh, areas near Terry's Mountain Road, seeing some some pretty heavy rain and uh, uh, perhaps also some hail. Uh, this is a pretty nasty cell, uh, no doubt over Henry County, not warned on by the National Weather Service, but nevertheless a pretty strong thunderstorm. And then we've got a couple more cells that extend from Pennsylvania County over towards Halifax County areas just to the east of Chatham and just to the north of Halifax, seeing some pretty nasty weather. This again, pretty much along the Halifax and Pennsylvania County line. Uh, you'll notice among the roads impacted uh, by these cells, uh, Yeats Store Road, Paytonsburg Road, areas in around Henry's Mill Road and Brownville Heights Lane, uh, seeing some uh, pretty heavy rain. Not a ton of thunder and lightning with this cell, but nevertheless torrential downpours right along the Halifax and Pennsylvania County line. So we've got these two cells right now in Southside, one in Henry County, uh, poisoned ready to leave Martinsville pretty soon. And then we've got another cell or two in Pennsylvania and also in the Halifax counties. Let's go further to the north. We've got another cell that we're watching. This one in Charlotte County, just to the north of Charlotte Courthouse, right along Highway 47, kind of in between Pamplin City and Charlotte Courthouse. Again, this is Highway 47 right here. So we do some street level mapping alongside you so you can uh, see who is seeing what. Areas near Harvey Road, County Line Road, and Tower Road, seeing some very heavy rain. Again, this is uh, in Charlotte County, northern Charlotte County, but very, very close to, indeed, the Appomattox County line. All right, so we've touched on virtually every cell that is around right now. Uh, rest assured, these showers and thunderstorms will likely be exiting the region closer to dinner time. I think for the most part, areas north should be done with this pretty soon. South side might hold on to these rain chances into the uh, dinner hour. Uh, end time anywhere between about 530 and about maybe 715. That's when we're looking at these showers and thunderstorms uh, kind of tapering off around here. So we don't have that much more to go. It's not like this is going to be an all night rain event for us. Uh, these cells are being aided by the warmth that we do have outside today. It's been pretty warm, no doubt. Not especially humid, a little more humid today than yesterday. But um, again, mainly just seeing these showers and thunderstorms aided by a disturbance pushing overhead and also by the heat that is indeed outside. So again, if you're just uh, joining us here on this app cast, I want to bring you up to date as to what we're seeing. Uh, I do believe the National Weather Service just put out an updated um, uh, an update <laughs> on this severe thunderstorm warning uh, for portions of um, Amherst and Bedford County. I'm reading it right now. Oh, there's a question. Go ahead, Allie. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coleman Falls, yeah, they, they are, but it looks like the worst of the weather is to the east of Coleman Falls. 
yeah, uh, this this appears to be a storm system that is impacting areas near like Holcomb Rock Road. Um, it's awfully close to Coleman Falls, but it looks like the worst of the weather is certainly uh, pushing away from Bedford County and more into Amherst County. OK, so we don't have much more if you're getting very wet right now in Big Island or, or Coleman's Falls uh, or Col um, you're not going to see much more um, of the rain and thunderstorms there. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm looking at the radar right now just to give you an idea. This right here is the Bedford and Amherst County line. I'm drawing it right here. So this is Bedford County. Not much more to go. This appears to be more of an Amherst County storm at this point. Uh, so for the most part, yes, Big Island, uh, areas along Highway 122, even areas along 501, you don't have much more to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so again, then updated uh, text from the National Weather Service so you can uh, get updated alongside me here at your local weather authority as to what the National Weather Service folks are saying. Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 315 for northeastern Bedford and Amherst counties. Uh, they were saying that the severe thunderstorm was located in the line extending from New Glasgow to Sedalia, moving southeast to 25. So they have slowed the forward progression of these showers and thunderstorms a wee bit. Um, they're saying 60 mile per hour gusts, quarter size hail, uh, locations impacted include Amherst, Forks of Buffalo, Clifford, Big Island, Coleman Falls, Boonesboro, and Neola. I can tell you that Big Island and Coleman Falls, you don't have much more to go. I know there's a question about that um, from Allie earlier. Coleman Falls, you don't have much more to go. It's, it's not going to be around for, for a whole lot longer. Um, this appears to be, again, more of an Amherst County storm here relatively soon. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, till three. Okay, so we've got this warning in effect for about the next 28 minutes or so. Let me let me actually zoom out so you can see that. There we go. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning in effect for really Amherst County for the most part until 315. Bedford County, you're still included in it, but <laughs> again, this is the line with Amherst County and you just aren't seeing that much in, in Bedford County. I wouldn't be surprised here within the next two to three minutes if the Weather Service comes out and updates um, the, the text on that uh, because I just don't don't foresee uh, Bedford County being impacted much more by this severe cell. Again, this is not a tornado warning, not a tornado warning. This is a severe, severe thunderstorm warning, but nevertheless, uh, this is a storm that is capable of some hail. OK, hail, wind, heavy rain, thunder and lightning with this thing. OK, uh, wherever you see these purple cores, that is an indicator of some hail. And again, we're seeing some hail just now north of the Bedford and Amherst County line, more in Amherst County now uh, areas impacted by this nasty weather. Uh, East Perch Road, Albert Farm Road, Cloudcroft Drive, and also areas uh, in and around uh, Ewers Lane. Um, again, th there's one hail core right there near East Perch Road. Fast approaching, by the way, Highway 130. So if you're traveling or have family or friends traveling on 130 in Amherst County, you may want to warn them that uh, it's pretty nasty weather right now along Highway 130. And then we also have this cell capable of uh, potentially some hail. Uh, this one near Amherst, potentially just to the east of Amherst, but Amherst right now is getting pounded with some pretty nasty weather. Uh, you've got a lot of thunder and lightning to the west of you and to the east of you near Pierce's Mill Road, Pierce's Mill Road, also around Banton Lane, uh, Boxwood uh, Farm Drive. That is where we are also seeing uh, some pretty heavy rain and a hail core, uh, potentially a uh, quarter to maybe slightly larger than quarter size hail. Uh, again, that would be just to the east of the town of Amherst. Now, of course, as you go a little bit further north into the east, that's where you get into Nelson County. Uh, Nelson County, you also have a warning until 315. Uh, looks like the worst of weather is staying maybe just just outside of Lovingston. Um, and as we go a little bit further to the uh, east of Nelson County High School areas uh, in and around uh, Finley Gap Drive, Union Hill Drive. This is Highway 156 right here, or uh, pardon me, Highway 56 right here. Highway 29, to give you an idea, is up this way. And yes, Lovingston, you're seeing some light showers, but most of this is staying to the south and also uh, to the east of you. Again, Lovingston is right here. Of course, that's the most populous town in Nelson County. But if you head towards Piney Mountain Lane, also into areas, say, near Coon Hollow Lane, Coon Hollow Lane uh, that is where we are seeing um, 
some pretty heavy rain as we speak. Uh, areas in and around Schuyler seeing some pretty heavy rain, for example. So, if you're just joining us again, we do have some scattered showers and thunderstorms around the region. I'm actually going to uh, put a little uh, a lapse on this so we can see where these showers and thunderstorms are moving. They are moving to the east, southeast at anywhere from 25 to 40 miles per hour. Some cells are moving faster than others. Some cells have actually slowed down while other cells are actually uh, moving a little quicker right now. But again, these showers and thunderstorms hit or miss in nature. Some of us are saying, we're not getting anything in our house. We're just seeing some hazy sunshine. By the way, I want to talk to you about that as well while I have you in this uh, little app cast. Uh, yes, indeed, if you are saying to yourself, uh, I am seeing smoke outside. Yes, you are. And we're going to continue to have smoke in the forecast likely through Saturday. OK, notice that as we head into Saturday night, the smoke becomes a little thicker and denser towards the Carolinas and also towards the Ohio River Valley. So again, by Saturday night, the amount of smoke we see around here should start to decrease a little bit. Again, if you didn't see this the first time, lots of smoke out there today. OK, very smoky, very hazy out there today. Tonight doesn't look much better may start to see a little bit of an improvement on Saturday, OK, especially in the afternoon. There won't be as much smoke in the air as we head into Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, even less smoke. And then Sunday, a lot of the smoke is again towards the Carolinas and also towards the Ohio River Valley. If you're uh, unfamiliar with what this smoke does, it doesn't really, at least this time, it's not providing us a whole lot of air quality issues. OK, so there lies some good news. Um, you know, last week, I think we had air quality in the unhealthy category. That doesn't happen around here very often at all. Uh, today, the air quality has either been good or maybe flirting with the moderate uh, category for every now and again. But the smoke this time has actually come from Western Canada. It's not coming from Quebec or Ontario. It's actually coming from Alberta and also British Columbia in Canada. A lot of the smoke is thousands of feet above us, which is actually helping with the air quality um, because if the smoke was further down in the atmosphere, that would create more uh, issues for those who have any respiratory issues. But again, the smoke is, is pretty high up there, but it is providing us eerie sunrises and sunsets. The haze was oh so visible outside today. The haze was visible for the sunrise this morning. Certainly the smoke visible uh, during the sunset last night as well. But again, the trend will be for us to see less and less smoke here over roughly the next 24 to 30 hours or so. Well, I have you here. Let's give you your weekend forecast. Might as well, right? Let's talk about what we're expecting here for this Father's Day weekend. Temperatures Saturday 84 up to 88 on Sunday. Sunday looks quite hot. It looks pretty humid as well. Saturday, Sunday, both days dry, mainly sunny Saturday. Going to see a, a, a small increase in clouds by Sunday. But overall, the Father's Day weekend looks fine for any outdoor plans you may have. Just please make sure to wear that sunblock. And again, stay hydrated. This is about as hot as we have been so far in 2023, especially on Sunday. There's a possibility that some of us on Sunday actually hit 90 degrees for the first time this year. All right, back to the local radar. We're going to talk uh, briefly one more time about the warnings around. Then I'm going to let you go uh, and uh, we'll see you again at five o'clock for sure, if not beforehand. Hopefully I don't have to see you guys again before five o'clock because that means that the storms are pretty nasty. It actually appears as though these showers and thunderstorms that are in Amherst and Nelson County appear to be weakening. OK, uh, if you're under these showers and thunderstorms, you're like probably saying no, no, Jeff, no, they're not. <laughs> they're still pretty strong. Yes, absolutely. But you can notice that uh, as we put a little bit of a lapse on this, we would actually go back here about 10 to 15 minutes. You can see that the amount of red and purple that we're seeing in these cells. Diminishing a wee bit. OK, there's a little more orange and yellow and less pink or purple showing up here. An indicator as we go now closer to the present time that the hail cores appear to be less and less. And that's good news. OK, nevertheless, still a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for portions of Nelson County. One uh, warning in effect until three, which is roughly the next three minutes or so. Then we have another warning in effect for Nelson County until 315. And we have this cell that is impacting uh, mainly portions of Amherst County until 315 as well. It does include portions of Bedford County, but for the most part, this cell is a uh, Amherst County storm. Before we go, notice here's Lynchburg. Most of these showers and thunderstorms staying to the north of the city of Lynchburg. Uh, Lynchburg, you are not involved in the severe thunderstorm warning. The severe thunderstorm warning is for areas north of you, but in Lynchburg, 
You are seeing the southern tip of this as we expected, as we told you about maybe 15 minutes ago, Lynchburg, you were going to get wet from this, but the worst of the weather does look to stay to the north of the Hill City. All right, friends, it is 2.56. Uh, we'll leave you here on this app cast. Hopefully you found this useful uh, as we continue to track these showers and thunderstorms alongside you. We'll continue to run a crawl at the bottom of your television screen on WSLS to keep you informed as to uh, if we get any more warnings. Obviously, if there's a tornado warning, we'll come right out there as fast as we can and, um, and uh, guide you along the way through that. But I don't foresee that happening. I don't think that these storms are going to turn tornadic. Yes, they're producing heavy rain. Yes, they're producing thunder and lightning, wind and hail. Um, but uh, there's the, the atmosphere is not quite ripe enough for a tornado around here. And that, my friends, is, is very good news. So for now, I'll leave you with this app cast. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you again here at about 5 o'clock on Channel 10.